Who is the most feared predator in the entire ocean? For us humans, it's the shark, especially the great white shark. Shark attacks make our heads stand on end and we want to avoid them at all costs. No one wants to be caught between the sharp teeth of these giant creatures or have the marks of a shark bite. Most data on shark attacks come from the U.S. We are so fascinated with sharks that we even have a week dedicated to them. Shark Week The stories of these animal attacks are terrifying, but they can teach us many things about how to avoid them. If you don't want to get attacked by a shark, you're in the right place. Let's plunge into the depths of the ocean to discover some survival tips that could save your life as we explore together the most incredible shark attack stories. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Henry Bors How willing would you be to risk your life or your leg to record a documentary? Well, this happened to Henry Bourne. He was a rock star who played the saxophone with his band, the Thunderbirds. On November 1964, Bourne was filming an underwater documentary around Lady Julia Percy Island near Australia. But at the same time, a great white shark attacked him. Bourne did everything he could to kick this giant predator, but he still lost his leg from the knee down. Anyone else? who have forgotten to record the documentary. Borns did not. He told his crew to keep recording. He even made sure they would continue recording how the shark had left his leg floating in the water. Perhaps it tasted bad. Borns, after only six weeks, was back in the water and was able to finish filming his documentary with footage of his mutilation. Borns returned to rocking with his band, the Thunderbirds, remembering how he almost lost his life to a shark. But for some people, this is just part of their daily routine. Nicole Moore If you're on vacation on a beautiful beach like Cancun or Acapulco, the last thing you will imagine is that you could be near the most dangerous creature you have ever encountered. This is what happened to Nicole Moore, an innocent woman who was spending her time in Cancun, Mexico, when a large and powerful bull shark attacked her. Nicole fought the fearsome animal by hitting it hard to scare him away. But it was too late. The shark shattered her left arm and leg, leaving even teeth marks on her bones. It took the doctors eight hours to recover the blood Nicole lost and kept her heart working. Sadly, Nicole lost her arm, but her leg could be saved. When Nicole recovered, he returned to her job as a nurse started participating in extreme racing and began working with organizations to help survivors of shark attacks, as well as organizations to protect them. Even though she was attacked, Nicole knows that the sharks were not the ones to blame. David and Sebastian Cozen How does that saying go? Like father, like son? This is how David and Sebastian Cozen, father and son, were bitten by a shark. According to the Palm Beach Post, in March 2014, Sebastian was surfing in John D. MacArthur State Park in Palm Beach, Florida, when, at some point, a shark pounced on his right foot. Sebastian tried to kick and managed to stay away. However, he suffered an injury that required 80 stitches on his leg. The peculiar thing about this story is that David Cozen, the father, had suffered an attack by a shark 20 years prior to this event at the same area as his son Sebastian. No Kosan was ever seriously injured by shark bites. Ex-soldiers who dive with sharks What is the best way to overcome our fears? By facing them, even if it's not face to face. War veterans are people who have seen unimaginable things. So many of them suffer from psychological disorders such as depression or post-traumatic stress, something that fills them with fear and makes them relive bad times. But there is a very effective way for these soldiers to overcome their fears, facing the imminent danger of a terrifying shark. That's right. The Point Defiance Zoo and Tacoma Aquarium in Washington, D.C., offers a type of therapy for these people that consists of diving into a tank with 16 friendly sharks and swimming freely alongside them. 
breathing deeply. While it may seem crazy, this allows veterans to safely face their fears. Who knew that some people's worst fears could help others so much? Brooke Watson Shark attacks have been so famous that they have even inspired works of art. John Singleton Copley was a famous painter in the colonial era in America. Copley was more recognized as a portrait painter. One of his most famous paintings is Watson and the Shark. In this painting, we can see a scary scene where a blonde boy is in the water asking for help, while a shark approaches to devour him. Copley was inspired by a real shark attack that happened in 1749. The victim's name was Brooke Watson, a 14-year-old boy who was on a commercial boat on the shores of Havana, Cuba. His boat was attacked twice by a shark, which caused Watson to fall into the water. But thanks to his companions, they were able to rescue him in time. However, Watson lost his leg below the knee. But this did not prevent him from having a really good life. Watson managed to serve in the Parliament House for nine years and become mayor of London, as well as being recognized as a famous survivor of a shark attack. Barry Wilson Never swim in the open sea, nor go far from the coast in the slightest. Or what happened to Barry Wilson in 1952 will happen to you. Barry, a friend of his, and a group of people were swimming in the Pacific Ocean in California, not far from the coast. Everyone was having a great time until they began to notice Barry moving around suddenly and screaming. Out of nowhere, a shark attacked Barry and his body disappeared into the water and then reappeared over a pool of blood. Barry's friend and some members of a scuba team went to help him. They managed to surround his body with a life preserver and bring him to shore, despite the injuries and the shark that was following them. But Barry unfortunately passed before he reached the shore, because the injuries to his leg and back were too severe. Barry's story became the first shark attack ever seen in California. Dave Quillivan Swimming is a dangerous practice and sharks are one of the biggest risks when taking a dip in the sea. David Quinlevan was about to start his canoeing practice on Blackhead Beach, Australia, when he noticed some dolphins were scared. But this did not worry Dave. Soon after, he realized what a serious mistake he had made. A great white shark came out of the water and dragged him into the depths. Dave shook himself hard and managed to turn the canoe around but decided to go back in the water as he swam away, pushing the canoe away. And that's how he took control of the situation. His actions worked. The shark stopped his attack and left. Dave made it to shore with a life preserver, but with very serious injuries. In this particular case, the shark left Dave to take control in the water and decided to leave, sparing his life. Sharks versus Dolphins if you're ever in danger, don't hesitate to call on the bravest and most reliable animals in the ocean, the adorable dolphins. If you don't believe me, ask Rob Howie. Rob was swimming with his daughters peacefully off the coast of New Zealand and was pleasantly surprised when a group of dolphins started surrounding them. Howie noticed a shark approaching them and couldn't help but feel deep fear. But the dolphins kept swimming around him until the shark gave up and left. But why will a group of dolphins will protect a human from a shark attack? Experts say that dolphins create a protective circle around their young to shield them from the sharks. So, these dolphins were probably swimming near the family and felt that they were in danger. So, they decided to protect them, without a doubt. Dolphins are the most intelligent and noble creatures in the ocean. Sharks prefer men. Have you ever thought that the vast majority of shark attacks are against men? A study done in Australia covered 30 years of shark attacks around the world, which determined that men were more likely to have a shark attack than women. The study showed that about 85% of shark attacks during these three decades were directed at men, and of those who suffered fatal injuries, 
almost 90% of them were men too. This is probably because the vast majority of people who venture into the open sea are men. Most divers attacked by sharks are between 20 and 40 years old, which is related to the age range of the average oceanic swimmer. Victims are twice as likely to be attacked on their leg compared to other parts of their body. Clearly, the water does not yet belong to humans, and predators such as sharks prevent their ecosystem from being invaded. How to survive a shark attack I love swimming in the ocean, and if you're like me, who loves to swim, surf, scuba diving, and sail in the ocean, here are some very important recommendations so that you never suffer a shark attack. The first thing to keep in mind is that you cannot urinate in the water. Urine has the same effect on the shark as blood, that is, they can smell it at a great distance. Avoid wearing clothes that contrast a lot, that is, clothes with colors like yellow, orange, neon, or red. This will make you more striking for sharks, and I am sure that is not the attention you're looking for. Also pretty important to keep in mind is not to swim in the dark. You have no idea how many creatures can be in the water because you can't see them, but they can see you, so better don't. Now, you've heard that there are some shark repellents that are advertised on television and you are drawn to buy them, but don't trust these products. You don't want to find out if they really work because this will put you in danger. Those are some of the most important tips to follow. They will help you reduce the chances of having to face these incredible and colossal sharks. Do sharks attack in deep water? When you are swimming in the ocean, you may feel safer in a shallower area near the beach where you can see all the people having fun. We all know that the real danger lies in the depths of the ocean. But believe it or not, most shark attacks have occurred in the shallower areas of the sea. There are three types of shark attacks. On divers, on surfers, and on swimmers. Attacks on surfers and swimmers occur at depths that can reach the heights of a professional basketball player. That means very shallow water. So why do shark attacks happen in shallow areas? Because that's where the prey is. If a shark attacks you, it's probably because it thought that you were part of its meal. And when it bites you, it will immediately realize it's not, but it's gonna be really late for you. Lake Michigan. A shark in a lake? It truly doesn't make much sense. As we well know, sharks swim in oceans and rarely in rivers with a lot of salt. But in 1955, a shark attacked George Lawson on his right leg in Lake Michigan. This fact has been questioned more than once for many years. The strangest thing of all is that the shark was more than 2,000 miles away from the nearest ocean. Another striking fact is that the bite was not lethal and was not provoked. However, Several newspapers have spoken about this fact, either as a reality or as a myth, and it has become an urban legend among the people of Chicago. Today, there is no trace of any George Lawson, family member or witness to the event, nor any medical records. I suppose this attack will remain a mystery. Selfies are more lethal than sharks? Which one do you think is more dangerous? A selfie? Or a shark? Well, according to a report by the Indian Journal of Family Medicine and Primary Care, about 260 people lost their lives in a selfie-related accident between 2011 and 2017, compared to only 50 people who lost their lives to sharks around the same time. While about 260 people in seven years may not seem like much to you, in 2017, the number increased to almost 100 people in that year. Another study by Indian hospital teachers ranked the most common victims of selfies, men in their 20s. Most of these cases of lethal selfies occur between people who drown, had car accidents, or suffer a demise while taking a picture next to a wild animal. India reports the highest number of cases compared to Russia, 
the United States and Pakistan. So next time you take a selfie, make sure to be careful. A photo is not worth your life. So next time you want to swim in the ocean, remember that it is home to some of the most fearsome predators that can mistake you for their prey and leave you seriously injured. Shark attacks are not always lethal, but they can be very traumatic physically and mentally for people. So remember to follow our advice to avoid these attacks and keep yourself safe at sea. Also, don't blame the sharks for their actions. They don't want to hurt you. They just get confused and think you are their prey. So don't go hunting them or support the people who want to eliminate them. It's best to take care of these majestic animals and look after them. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all our new videos.